Today, our journey with the Rams comes to an end. Today, Jesse Wagner plays his final showcase game with this team alongside running back Antonio Blackshear, receiver Deontay McCoon, the offensive line including longtime Ram Zach McCoy, and second-year tight end Jason Holcomb, who is now up to an X-Factor depth straight, coming off a very special second season. This defense, led by Darius Richards, will have to stop the Chiefs here in our final game to close and bookend this series. Carlos Ruiz, Levy, Finch, George Vance, all long-time rounds as well. We'll see them one final time here today. The Chiefs are led by fourth-year quarterback Sam McGee, an X-Factor dev trade quarterback at only 25 years old. It's going to be X-Factor against X-Factor quarterback. On the ground, they've got Jakari Lowry, one of the better running backs across the entire league. He's got 92 speed. At receiver, they've got a couple of superstar and X-Factor players in Kevin Buckner, Sammy Walker, and Lamar Southward. And at tight end, they've got a really good aging tight end in Ricky Lewis, backed up by Conrad Richardson. Their offensive line is led by Brett Ogburn, Chris Bass, James Gilchrist, Lance Norris, a superstar right guard, and right tackle Paul Tyson. On defense, they've got a couple of really solid edge rushers and Devontae Holiday and Nick Logan. They've also got Damar Winslow on their interior alongside Tremaine Pleasant and Terrell Reedy. At linebacker, they've got Demetrius Sweets, Keegan Griffin, and Riley Hawkinson. And their third level is led by superstar corner Del Kelly, safety Marco Phelps, and X Factor safety and Peter Graham, the highest rated player on the team. The Rams come in with a 15-2 record led by MVP quarterback Jesse Wagner, while the Chiefs come in with a 13-4 record over in the AFC. Both teams clinched the one seed in this past regular season. They meet here today in the final showcase game of the entire series. Here we go in Levi Stadium in San Francisco, California, our home states to close the series. And kickoff is officially underway here in the Super Bowl in 2035. This is Super Bowl 70. The Chiefs will start with the ball from their 21 yard line. Here we go. On first and 10, McGee trails out of the pocket and finds a dump off pass for eight yards. That's caught by his running back, Jakari Lowry. The Rams bring four. McGee's quick throw is out of reach for his targets. On third and two, they hand it off to Kari Lowry with a patient run and a first down. Only three picks thrown all year long, by the way, by Sam McGee. So if you want to win, we got to force some turnovers by him, I think. As he takes off on the fake handoff, he gains four. The blitz backs off from the Rams, and Ruiz makes a nice tackle right there to bring up third and short. They're going to go to the air, and this pass is incomplete, dropped by their X-Factor wideouts. You do not want to have mistakes like that here in a game like this, but I will take it. First and 10 Rams. From the 20, Wagner's pass is caught. That is Antonio Blackshear, nine and a half. Now on the ground, and that's gonna be a first down, but just barely. Sticking with the ground game, a hole opens up, Blackshear gets outside and across midfield. Nice pickup right there. In plus territory on first and 10. We fake it to Blackshear and complete the pass to Deontay McCoon, who picks up six. Pressure coming, quick throw, caught for a first down. That's David Jackson against his former team. We acquired him from the Chiefs 
in that Super Bowl winning season three years ago. Five and a half to play here in the first quarter. Wagner has good protection and finds Holcomb for his first reception. He's off to a four for four passing start. From the 30, Wagner delivers it again to his favorite targets. He had the most receptions in the regular season for the Rams. A strong opening drive by the Rams here in the Super Bowl as Black Shear slips between the tackles and finds four more yards. Just got to cap this drive off now and put this ball in the end zone for a game leading touchdown. From the 11, right back on the ground, another hole opens up and Blackshear fights his way in the end zone for a touchdown. The Rams take the lead on their opening drive after a defensive stop. That's what I'm talking about. The offense is picking up right where they left off in every other game this year. Exactly what you want to see. Here's a replay. Really good block there by Zach McCoy and that led to the touchdown run. The PAT from Douglas makes it 7-0 Rams. A 9-play, 81-yard drive. Nearly 5 minutes taken off the clock on that possession. The Chiefs bring it out with a pretty solid return up to the 25. Single back formation for Kansas City. Lowry with three. Now to the air and good protection and caught in traffic by Buckner. One yard to go. They're going to stick with the passing game and McGee missed a wide open receiver. They're going to have to punt once again. LA starts from their 32. Quick throw on the flats. But a loss of one for Holcomb. Nice tackle there by Graham. Good protection for Wagner. He dumps it off for McCullum. Third and six coming up. Chiefs defense looking for a stop. And they are going to get one. It's batted down intended for McCullum. There's already been a couple of offensive miscues by the Chiefs here in this one, but has not cost them a whole lot to open this game as McGee takes off and slides after a seven-yard pickup. Play fake on second down. Pressure coming from Studebaker. The pass is broken up in traffic by George Vance. They hand it off to Lowry, but he's going backwards. Dropped for a loss of one. And the Chiefs once again fail to move the ball. That will end the first quarter. Rams lead 7-0. They'll get the ball back for a third time here to open the second quarter. Just across our 20-yard line. Here we go. Wagner, quick throw, caught by McCoon. He stays on his feet, but cannot gain extra yardage. But it is a nice gain of 16 yards on first down. Another quick throw. It's Holcomb picking up five. Black shoot the tailback. We're going to fake it to him. Wagner spins and delivers a strike to McCoon, who's got a couple of steps on his defender. Wagner 10 for 11 to open Super Bowl 70. Cannot ask for a better start through the air. And the Rams set up shop on the Chiefs 31. More play action. Wagner's got time to throw and wide open. It's David Jackson inside the five. Rams moving the ball easily down the field here on their third drive of the game. Goal to go from the four. Blackshear breaks a tackle and finds the end zone, but a late flag comes in. 
This one might be coming back. That was such a late flag, and it's probably going to be a hold. And it is going to be just that. Against Julius Branch, our third string tight end. Ah, oh, great play. Gets taken off the board. And now the Rams go empty from the Chiefs 12. Wagner has good protection. Looking for the end zone. Oh, he's got Holcomb. Once again, these two link up for a touchdown. They've been doing this all year long. The Rams take a 13-0 lead. PAT pending. Right at the back pylon. Gotta love it. Kansas City finds themselves in an early hole here in this first half. Trailing by two touchdowns now. McGee's pass is just a bit in front of his target. We'll keep it through the air, and it's caught on the halfback wheel by Lowry across the 40-yard line for a first down. From the 42, McGee is going down. It's the rookie's second overall pick, Tim Studebaker. A 12-yard loss. What a play by the rookie edge rusher. Long way to go. Good protection this time, but it's dumped off and incomplete for Jakari Lowry. Third and forever. McGee steps up in the pocket and gets taken down again. It's Studebaker once more. This defense came to play, man, and so did the Rams' offense, too. Let's make it 21 0 here on this drive. Blackshear with a two-yard pickup here on first down. Back to throw. A quick one. McCoon hangs on again. A couple of tough grabs already in this first half. He's at the four catches on 53 yards. I think Holcomb has him beat right now in terms of his targets with five receptions. As we get the first down on third and short, it's David Jackson. Wagner's pass, spat it down at the line, I think. It goes incomplete. In the backfield, it's Antonio Blackshear. We throw it instead. McCoon, another tough grab. And on third down, Wagner hits McCoon in stride to move the chains once again. They cannot stop this passing offense. The Chiefs would challenge the play and fail. They have lost a timeout. Everything going wrong for them. Nice tackle there, though, on the defensive line. A two-yard pickup only for Antonio Blackshear. Brings up second and eight. Three and change to play here in the second quarter. They give it to Trey. No, it's a keeper. It's Wagner keeping it, breaking a tackle or two. He picks up three. Empty look on third down. Pass is caught. Jackson between three defenders. Able to hang on to it. Jesse Wagner, 17 for 19 passing in this first half. We got one more play prior to the two-minute warning. Blackshear gets outside and picks up five. Pass caught for a first down. It's Deontay McCoon. He's finally playing for the first time in his career like a number one wide receiver. First and goal Rams. Six yards away. Wagner caught. Holcomb scores again. Two touchdowns of the first half for the second year tight end. And the Rams go up 20 to zero in the first half. Another tough catch in traffic. A defender right there with him. But Griffin can't jar it loose and he can't make the tackle either. And out comes Glenn Douglas for the PAT to make it a 21 to nothing lead. What a start. 
90 seconds left to play in the first half. McGee trying to send it down the field, but Drummond has to sky to break up the pass. They've only got 40 first half passing yards as of right now. Defense and offense playing nearly perfect here in this game. McGee's pass is way off the mark. He has not been good here in this one. Third and long, they give it to Lowry. And he's not even close. They just gave up on the drive. We definitely have a chance to put more points on the board here prior to halftime. From the 41, pressure comes off the edge and Wagner lost it. It's recovered by Kansas City. That could be a huge game-changing play. The Chiefs take over in field goal range at the Rams 35 yard line. Demetrius Sweet, the sack and the fumble. And out comes McGee and the Kansas City offense. That one might come back to bite us. That was their first sack of the game, by the way. McGee's pass caught for five yards by Sammy Walker. McGee dumps it off. Great tackle on the outside. No gain. 33 seconds left to go. McGee's pass somehow caught. Blanket coverage by Drummond, but still a nice grab by Southward. The Chiefs are driving. Pressure in his face. McGee has to get rid of it. Five wide for McGee. He steps up. He's taken off. He slides at the 10. And the Chiefs call timeout with four seconds left to go. And they will get points on the board here after that Jesse Wagner fumble. The kick is good. It's 21 to 3. Still plenty of football left to play here, folks. The Rams lead by 18 points. Can they respond to that field goal score to close the first half? We start on the ground. Chiefs all over it, though. Only one yard for Blackshear. From the 22. Wagner's pass hauled in by Bone fighting for a first down. Blackshear lines up outside at receiver. Good protection. Pass caught. It's Jackson wide open. A yard shy of midfield. Just got to keep the pressure on the Chiefs defense here. Blackshear trying to find some room, but nothing opens up again. And off to Blackshear, he bounces it outside and gains three yards somehow. Almost went backwards. But now we got third and five. We are in no man's land. I might go for it if we get close to a first down. Wagner has time and wide open. It's McCollum. Room to run inside the Chiefs 40. And the gun on first down. Wagner once again, time to throw. It's Holcomb wide open in the red zone. Across the 15-yard line, the Rams set up at their 12. Trips top of the screen. Wagner over the middle has Jackson at the 5. Second down, it's a handoff, and wide open hole up the middle. It's Blackshear in the end zone for a Rams touchdown. That is exactly how you open with a second half drive right there. The Rams will lead 28-3 with the PAT coming up. After a five-minute opening drive of the half, the Chiefs finally touched the ball with under six to play in the quarter. Out wide, and a big first down. From the 40, McGee over the middle, and it's dropped again. That's now two drops in this game by Buckner. I'll hand it off, and Lowry's got nowhere to go. The tackle made by Daniel Levy, the longtime leader of this defense. 
That brings up third and ten. Plenty of these long third downs for the Chiefs here in this game. And plenty of short ones too, but they have not converted many of them so far. They will fake the handoff, and McGee has Buckner for a first down. Out racing Richards across the Rams 40. The drive continues. Back on the ground, Lowry has a hole this time. His best run so far. Right back to him again. Up the middle, another hole opens up. Ten more. We'll stick with what's working right now, and that is the run game. But Lowry snuffed out this time. Fourth straight run. Lowry. Only one yard. Taken down by Arthur Snow. And it's third and six for the Chiefs. Under two to go here in this third quarter. They have got to start going fast here, I think. McGee escapes the pocket and just throws it away, facing pressure. And they will settle for a field goal. They will not go for it here on fourth down. The Rams lead by 22 with just over a quarter and change to play. One more drive should put this game well out of reach for Kansas City, guys. One more touchdown, please. That one is off the mark. Trying to find McCoon. Delayed give. Black Shear pushed ahead. Only three yards that time. It's third and seven. Wagner delivers it and Holcomb hangs on up to the Rams 46. These two have quite the connection. 85 yards on eight receptions now for Jason Holcomb. Right back to him, but it's incomplete this time. And off the black shear. The hole closes quickly. That will end this third quarter. Rams driving, but third down coming up with six yards to go. From midfield, so we hand it off to Blackshear, and he is inches short of a first down. Why do we just hand that ball off? I have no idea. Instead, the Chiefs take over just inside their 20-yard line. McGee has all day to throw. He steps up, and he finds the X-Factor targets for a first down. That's Sammy Walker. First down. Rams bring four. Suda Baker could not stay on his feet, and it's another first down for Walker. Trying to put a drive together here. McGee now in the zone. That's caught. Six yards. Here's McGee. Incomplete. Ruiz broke it up. A top six passing offense this year have been held in check for most of this game. Just got to keep it up for eight and a half more minutes, guys, and we can walk out of here and sunset this series and this team with another ring. McGee on the move with a nice delivery. It's Jakari Lowey for a first down. Stepping up and complete once again. Buckner has it for seven yards. Keeping it through the air, first and ten once again for the Chiefs. That's caught by Lewis. And now up the seam, Lowry caught in stride inside the ten. The best drive so far for Kansas City. McGee. Escapes the pocket and throws it for the end zone. Batted away by Ruiz. Back to throw again. McGee lets it rip. It's a dump off for Lowry. Not a whole lot there. The Chiefs have really taken their time on this drive. It's third and goal. Half the quarter left to play. 
They take it down to like the five second mark. McGee trying to escape the pocket. He runs in for a touchdown. Showing off that breakaway speed. It's their first score. Their first pay dirt of the entire day. But has it come too late? They will go for two. Back to throw for the end zone and caught by Buckner. No drops on this one. That was a five minute drive by their offense, but now their defense needs back to back stops. 520 left to play. We're gonna throw it. It is caught by David Jackson for a five yard pickup. And off up the middle. Not a whole lot of room for Blackshear. A big third down coming up. Wagner's pass is nearly picked. Oh, man, that was close. Morant just couldn't hang on to it. But the Chiefs defense gets off the field quickly. And if they score one more touchdown, we might be in danger here. The punt is away. The Chiefs will take over at their 31. Can the Rams defense make one more play to end this game? McGee with time. He's going to air it out. But he throws it out of bounds. Pass is caught underneath. Lewis picks up five. And now the Chiefs go no huddle. It's four down territory here. McGee rolls out, and it's batted away by guess who? It's Darius Richards. The first ever draft pick in the entire series. And KC has to stay out there on fourth and five. Game on the line. Trailing by 14. McGee facing pressure. It's broken up. Intended for Walker. George Vance came in and jarred the ball loose. And just what the doctor ordered, a nice stop, a turnover on downs. And the Rams can take over and plus territory just a few minutes away from our third ring here in the series and Jesse Wagner's second since becoming this team's quarterback. It's Blackshear breaking off a big run. He's up to a Benjamin on the ground. From the eight. Smoke on the clock. Flag comes in. It's going to be against the offense, I think. It's going to be a hold. I'm expecting run after run here to close this game. Blackshear picks up three. Out of the warning. It's Blackshear again. Not a whole lot there. Now it's Trey Bowen with a give. He... As it bounced outside as David Jackson goes down with an injury here late in this game. Hopefully he's all right, but I don't think it'll matter a whole lot the rest of the way given how much we're leading by. But a fourth and goal, out comes the field goal units. It's going to be a Glenn Douglas chip shot to put this game officially out of reach. It is up and it's good. The Rams lead 31 to 14 and Super Bowl 70. And time has officially run out for the Chiefs of Field Gota in the game. The Rams take it 34 to 21. We have won our third ring of the series to close it. In the final episode, the Rams go out on top. A 15 2 record coming in. And three straight playoff wins after two straight playoff losses in the previous two years combined. A bounce back year for the Rams. What a way to go out here with this team and with this series. A storybook ending to this entire journey with this team. What more could you possibly ask for? There's the MVP with the Super Bowl trophy once again, his second time here in the big game.
What a performance by both sides of the ball. The offense was unstoppable like they were the entire regular season. What a way to close this entire story out. I just can't say enough about this squad, man. What a team we have put together here. I knew they could do it. 381 yards of offense gained here in this one. A 34-21 victory. And Jesse Wagner did what he does best. Not throwing picks. Throwing completions. Only five total passes. Not complete to his receivers. An 83% completion percentage here in this one. A fantastic rating. Pretty much right where, where it was the entire regular season. Antonio Blackshear ran the ball very well. The entire offense was just a well oiled machine the entire time two touchdowns for Blackshear 5.8 per carry Holcomb 85 yards and two scores they have a Jackson 81 yards the entire receiving court stepped up here in this game Deontay McCoon was heavily involved here got a sack for the rookie a sack for Marquise McCoy in the fourth quarter no turnovers forced or anything by us at least but a perfect day from our kicker and you cannot ask for a better ending to this series. The Rams win their fifth overall title. And Antonio Blackshear is the Super Bowl MVP for Super Bowl 70. I think it's pretty well deserved. I think either he or Wagner could have both won it. So either way, I'm happy. We got a ring. And that is how you want to close things out for sure. And nobody from this team has retired. Darius Richards will stick around for the unforeseen future on this team. He's not done yet. This is the team that won the final game, the final title in this series. This is the offense fully healthy coming in, fully healthy coming out. What a story this has become. I think this year, Jesse Wagner proved that he is worth that 80 plus million dollar cap hit. What a crazy cap hit to have, but I think he is worth it. He's won two titles now with this team in seven seasons. And honestly, I'm glad I never gave him away for picks or otherwise. It was the right move to keep this guy around and it has paid off dividends for this team. And on defense, Darius Richards, Still in the league all these years later, down to a 94 overall, entering his 13th season. He's now 33 years old, and he's not done. But he's racked up the INTs. He's racked up deflections, tackles. And he's also racked up the awards as well. Two Pro Bowls. One league leader in INTs, one defensive back of the year award and three titles to boot. How about George Vance? Nine years in, multiple picks per year, save for a couple of the early seasons. He's been great for us. Probably, perhaps the, the biggest game-changing player on this defense. Ever since we got him, the defense has been absolutely special. I mean, it was great before with um, Aaron Donald, but I think he was the game-changing player for our secondary, and he's also won a couple of awards himself. He won Best Defensive Back in 2032 and 2033. Three Pro Bowl appearances. He's been fantastic. And how about this guy right here? The leader, the center of this defense, Daniel Levy, through seven years, racking up tackles, tackles for loss, sacks, INTs. This guy can really do it all. He honestly has more deflections than most of our corners do. And he's also won a couple of awards himself. Defense Rookie of the Year, plus those titles. Probably should have won Best Linebacker a couple of times, but that mostly goes to pass rushers like Raheem Finch. He's been here for seven years, too. He's been one of the primary edge rushers for this team ever since we drafted him. Had 10 sacks in his second season here in this entire league. And he's been great for us. Three Pro Bowl appearances for him. And how about Carlos Ruiz, drafted one year after Levy, and he has had probably as much of an impact on this defense as Levy has, too. 
not as good at, you know, forcing turnovers or getting deflections, but he's been great making tackles and tackles for loss. He's been awesome. We only saw three years for Antonio Blackshear, but these last two years especially, where he was healthy for most of it, he really showed out and showed off that breakaway speed. He showed off the ability to make some tough receptions and showed how to jet through holes on this offensive line. He's been fantastic for us. And he has a bright future in our minds because obviously we're not going to be able to see any more of him or anybody else on this team. Head coach Damian Leak ends his career at the number five spot on the overall legacy leaderboard for head coaches with 6,948 points of legacy points, three titles, three NFC championships, and one head coach of the year award. Every title game that we appeared in, we won. That's awesome. Aaron Donalds and the Hall of Fame, a top three player of all time with legacy awards. Quincy Baznight comes in with over 17,000 legacy points and 36th overall on the entire leaderboard. Let's check his yearly stats or his uh, overall stats here as he is also 33 years old, 12 years into his career. Spent the last two years in New England, but he was fantastic for us. Multiple years with over 10 sacks. He was great. He won a couple of best linebacker awards, one defensive player of the year award, and six Pro Bowl appearances in his time with the Rams. And at 59th, our quarterback comes in through seven seasons. Jesse Wagner, eight yearly awards, two NFC championships, two Super Bowl titles, and still plenty of games left to play for him. George Vance, not too far behind. He's been here for all three title runs. He's also won those five yearly awards. He still has a lot left to give to this team and to this league. How about Damon Craig? With two Super Bowl titles, one with the Rams, one with, I think it was the Broncos, I believe, or something. But also pretty impressive stuff. Daniel Levy comes in a couple spots behind him at 74. Still several years left for him to give to this league. And what a story it has been for this team. We have drafted so many great players on offense and defense. How about Trevor Offord? Can't forget about him. 86 right now across the leaderboard. He's been great. Won both titles with the Rams so far for him. And then at Darius Richards, three spots lower. Just over 9,000 legacy score. I'm surprised he did not retire on top. But you know what? I can't blame the guy. He's only 33, I guess. Still a lot left to play. In the end, we come in with the fourth highest career win percentage amongst all active head coaches. 136 wins to 85 career losses, 10 winning seasons, 15 playoff wins, to six playoff losses, and three titles, and no title game losses. I mean, we are one of the best playoff head coaches of the entire league. 235 touchdowns to 75 picks for Jesse Wagner. A rating of 106.6 so far in his career. Nearly 30,000 yards. Antonio Blackshear over 3,000 yards so far through three years for him. Over 70 yards per game. 15 touchdowns in total to only one fumble, which I think we saw in a showcase game. Receiving-wise, David Jackson, by far the most tenured player on this entire offense. With over 8,300 yards through the air. 63 touchdowns. McCoon, just over or just below 3,000 yards, 18 touchdowns. We'll call him at 37, way more than McCoon does. And Holcomb already has 14, catching up quickly to McCoon. No, no doubt about that. On defense, over 900 tackles for Daniel Levy. 13.5 sacks, 66 tackles for loss, 9 INTs. Richards with 38 picks, 3 sacks. 870 tackles. George Vance not far behind. He's got 18 picks in his career. And Glenn Douglas on 89 field goal attempts. He's hit 80 of them. One of the best kickers ever. And only one missed PAT in his entire career, which was not blocked, just missed. But only one career PAT miss is damn impressive. 
That is going to do it, folks. A storybook conclusion to this journey. Hoping for a better journey in our next series coming on Madden 25. We'll see what team I end up choosing, but it's going to be a team over in the AFC just to switch up the conference. We'll see which team I end up choosing, but that will do it here with the Rams. This one is done. This one is over. This was the final episode, the final game, and we go out on top. Cannot ask for a better ending to this story, and that will do it, guys. Please like the video, subscribe, leave your thoughts down below. I will see you guys in the next Madden series in a couple of weeks once that game comes out. I will see you guys there. Peace out. Have a great day.